God damn it, these things are everywhere. You, listen, you need to get out of here now. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Find Nate and find Skid. Uh, you might not even have time for that. Just run as fast as you can. I'll hold them off. Ran faster. Run, run as fast as you can. Don't look behind for lurking there. Terror you'll find with claws like daggers and eyes ablaze. I stalk my prey in haunting days. You're not going anywhere. And even if you try to run, we will all get you. The corruption is eternal. You, you're the one I advised to flee. And yet, even after my corruption took hold, I still caught up. You must be the slowest runner on Earth. You know, I might just be you. Or I might just simply bring you to XML. Better yet, we'll just play a game. Tag. No. Even better. Cat and mouse. That sounds like fun, don't it? You have ten seconds. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can see you. Where did you go? Gotcha. Hey, buddy. God, this will be fun. I get to... Ah! Did you just hit me? Get back here, you mother... Did you really think you could escape me? I saw your foot hanging out. No, no, no. Don't you dare scream. If you scream, I'll rip out your esophagus. Do you think you can get away with hitting me then running off? Oh, how cruel you idiots can be. And all I wanted was to play a simple, small game. That may or may not have involved your life. And but yet, even after we did play, you broke the rules. So why? Why shouldn't I break your neck instead? Oh, let me guess. You're scared. Though... Think about it. The 
game never really ended, and I've got you pinned right in front of me. So I guess that means I win. Which also means I get to decide what to do with you. Hmm. Don't bother struggling. I'm trying to think. So many choices. I could give you to XML, and he could corrupt you. Or I could just do that myself, but that would be no fun. We could play another game, but you just love breaking the rules and not playing fair. Oh, I know. I'll just keep you to myself. So I could play with you anytime I want, cutie. <laughs> Not in that way. Get your mind out of the gutter. However, let's play a new game. It's called Wake Up in a New Place. How do you play? Well, let me just show you. It starts with me balling my hand up like this. And, well, this. <laughs> See you soon. This better not come back to haunt me. <sighs> that was too close. As you can tell, it's night time. And I've taken you to a place that's in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, it's raining. I'm lucky I got you here in time, or else striking you would have been a so much harder task. You already were that hard to drag in the first place. Now, what should I do with you? Again. Maybe I should rip you apart and keep you alive. Hang you from the ceiling, only letting you breathe. Once. So many options. So little time. Honestly, I think you would agree. Hmm. Let's see what it is. I'll be right back. Hmm. Ah, my knives. Perfect. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there's 
Where's my gun? Maybe I should use it again. But then again, I don't want the fun to end, so... Hmm. I will use this for... the thing I'll try later. I've got a question. What are you? As in, your gender. I'm no pervert. I refuse to look down there. So, I'll just ask. Not much of a talker, are you? A mute, genderless idiot. I don't think I've met one of the... What the hell was that? Hmm. Be right back again. suffer. Instead, you are going to do me a favor. You are going to play along with all the questions I ask. If you play fair, I might set you free. Deal? A no means a yes in my book, so... You've had uh, quite the rough time today, so I'll be your goody do shows good guy for the moment, and I'll give you a break. Always take care of your victims. It says, just a moment. Where is it? So sorry, I got the handbook right here. Yes, always take care of your victims, earn their trust. Here we go. Well, yeah, it's right here in the handbook. On a different note, though. <sighs> I'm going to try something with you. I'm going to put you to sleep, and not in the way I did last time. I'm going to try something called, uh, just a moment. Come on. Come on. Sensory Meridian Response ASMR. This will make you go to sleep. And if it doesn't, I'll just knock you out like last time. So, unless you want to hurt, you're gonna sit there and let me at least attempt. And do not worry. I'm not gonna hurt you while I'm doing this. Seriously, I would never lie to you. So, relax. And this, make sure you will be fine. Hmm. Just a moment. All right. 
I hope you're ready. you to relax. that feel That's enough of that. All right. So, up next on the list, we have uh, one of my favorite toys. My gun. Well, one of my guns. This baby has saved my ass more times than I can count. Don't worry, she's not loaded. We're only gonna play with this one for a little while. Hopefully you'll be asleep by then.
That's enough of that. Well, you already seem to be asleep. <laughs> sleep well. You'll need it. Pico, we talked about this. It's been two weeks, and nothing has changed. Why won't you do it? Because I won't force someone into this life. Into this corruption. It just doesn't feel right anymore. Especially with them. But look at the power we have. Why won't you deny them that? Power? Is that all you care about? Look, I've been watching them. There's something different about them. They're not like us. They don't belong in this darkness. Not being too sentimental, Vigo. This is our way of life now. They need to join us or be left behind. I won't do it. I won't corrupt them. Because you want more allies. Fine. If you won't do it, then I'll find someone who... Uh... Oh. Is... That... So cute. Er, uh, what? They're adorable. They look like they can't even hurt a fly. Uh, I told you to stay down there. No, no, it's fine. Let me have a chat with them. If you do anything to them, I will cut you alive. Like you have any choice in the matter. Hi. Who might you be? Or what might you be? Hmm. Hmm. Since Pico won't corrupt you, then I guess I will. Wait. Try again. Hold still. Stop trying. <sighs> Whatever. Just don't tell the other corrupted folk. They'll get jealous. Get angry. Especially for this kitty right here. <laughs> See you around. That 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 was fruity as hell. running off on your own like that. 
Why are you all the way up here? Whoa. Nice view. Uh, do you mind if I sit? Listen, uh, I wanted to apologize for, at the beginning of us, you know, just having this mutual friendship, I wanted to apologize for, uh, attacking you. I just... I really don't know what to say, I just... In the bottom of my heart, I, I really am sorry. I do frankly feel guilty for hitting you a couple of times and threatening to rip out your tonsils. Yeah. So, take that as you will. You don't have to say sorry back or Thank you, Bagger. How this apologizing thing works. Just take your time and sit here for a while. I guess I'll be over here just sharpening my nails, I guess. And my claws. Sorry. Actually, even better. I'll just give you time to think. I'll, uh, touch you in a minute. I'll be indoors talking to boyfriend. I'll be back up in, like, ten minutes. Five. Just take your time. Tabby, you, you need to believe me, and you say you need to come with me, or I say, I'm one of the last remaining people, we have to work together and get this thing fixed, you don't understand, Listen, he will be back any minute now, come on, please, Trust me. What are you talking about? I... I'm a survivor. I'm not corrupted. Please. He's lying to you. He's not going to keep you around. He's not sorry. Ah, oh, crap, he's back. I'll come back for you. I promise. I heard some noise going on. Talking to someone out here? No. That just seems to be my imagination. It is raining pretty hard. So, uh, sorry. Just thought you were talking to someone. <laughs> oh, um. Wait, you forgive me? <laughs> Thank you. Actually, you, you know what? No, I'm going to do you a favor. I really am sorry for locking you up and keeping you away from things. I really am sorry, so to make it up to you, I'll start bringing you along with me on adventures. Maybe you can uh, help us corrupt people, <laughs> even though you can't corrupt. You can maybe lure some people, who knows? <laughs> Come on. 
I'll go introduce you to the rest of the gang. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot of fun together. often. Of all people we can't control, he is the hardest. You might be the second hardest because you're immune. <laughs> so, uh, I've been meaning to talk to you for quite some time now. We've been chilling and you've been with me in the corruption since... What year is it? 2024? Yeah, you, you've been with us since 2022, if I'm correct. The day I finally got you was May 15th, and I finally had you in my arms. <laughs> See, uh, I have a couple things I want to get off my chest, but first order of business. The corruption seems to be inside of you, but doesn't want to let go of your body. It's, uh, more or less taking a fonding to you. It can't corrupt you fully, but it doesn't want to let go. So it's going to basically forever be on you. Which is good for us, because, you know, we can now track you, and if you ever get lost or kidnapped or anything like that, then we'll know exactly where you are kind of like a hive mind in some weird way so <clears throat> on another note I've been um, wanting to tell you something I've been wanting to say since a few months ago <clears throat> so it's been about two years and I've noticed Every time I'm around you, I, uh... <clears throat> Every time I'm around you, I get a weird feeling. But I can't get enough of it. It feels like butterflies are in my stomach. Except that it's ripping me from my insides. So, um... I read the handbook from earlier. And I, um... I tied the knots. And, uh, well, I, uh, <laughs> see, I, <laughs> what, what I'm trying to say is, uh, <laughs> uh screw it. <laughs> I feel I made a terrible mistake. Please forgive me. I, I, I don't know what came over you. We, we can talk about this. I, I really am sorry. Please, please don't run. I, I really am. So, huh? Er, what do you mean? It's all right. I just... I, um... should go. Um, I'll be back. <laughs> I can't believe what I was thinking. I just guessed them just like that. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Maybe I... Maybe I really do love them. No, I, I'm corrupted. We hate everything. We, we 
afraid we will corrupt more. And... But they're so soft and so nice. Grrr. Make up your mind, Miko. Uh, um, it's you. Uh, um, yeah. Sure. You can sit next to me, I guess. The forest? He, yeah. It's always put my mind at ease. Listen about earlier. I'm so sorry. You're hugging me? What is going through your mum? You love me too? Hello. And here you are. Tabby. I'm here for the immune one. Like hell you are. Why? Why do you think, you corrupted freak? Oh, you're one of those people. <laughs> you know... Just me alone can kick your ass, right? Not with what I have up my sleeve. You're alone. I know they won't help you, because you're just corrupted. Hmm. Psst. Hey. If you really do love me, don't trust a single thing he says. What'd you say? Nothing. What's going on over here? Yeah, I hear some noise. Well, well, well. Is that Tabby? Yeah, I'm tired of this. Just hand over to the immune one, and there'll be no trouble. Are you really gonna try this again? Last time was different. I wasn't ready for you. Hmm. You're not getting them, period. They've been with us for about two years now. We haven't even tried to corrupt them. Because they're immune. No, it's because we don't even want to anymore. They're our friend. And they're mine. And mine alone. They're more than a friend to me. What? You mean you actually care about them? And you think they care about you? Why are you in front of him? Come join me. We can leave. Looks like they've made up their mind, Tabby. And you're outnumbered. Yeah! I'll be back. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> God, what a creep. Come here. If it makes you feel any better, I'll try making your life easier now. Even though you're basically in a post-apocalyptic world. Thank you for staying with me. Let's go get something to eat. 
What are you hungry for? Hey. Huh? I want to talk to them again. <clears throat> Don't do anything stupid. I won't. Listen. Normally, I would impale you and hang your head on a stick because you're immune. But I myself have also grown a liking to you, so you're able to stay around. But if you're gonna be staying around, you're gonna be helping us, and you're gonna be pulling your weight around here. Okay? Welcome to the corruption. I have a headache. I'm gonna go to Deer's stage for a minute. See y'all later. Well, see ya. Now let's go get something to eat. Come here.